Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Low Life Podcast. I got a friend here with me. You've probably seen him on my streams. You know, y'all act crazy when he on there and talk all kinds of shit. <laughs> you know, this bad karma 615, so. What's up, everybody? How is everybody? Man, we're going to get we gonna get into the coronavirus. So that's going to be an interesting topic because it's just been destabilizing the whole world lately. You know, it's been slow. I know I said some crazy stuff on my gameplay stream saying that it doesn't mean anything. It's not scary. I'm scared now. Okay, I'm scared. So we're going to get into it. And uh, here we go. You can hear it. Can you hear it? Yeah. Okay. Turn it up a little bit. Turn it up a little bit. You can hear it better? Yeah. Okay. You hear it? Is it saying it right? Or? Yeah. Okay. Because may I bring it up on my phone? Because we're both going to talk about it. Didn't start showing 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 symptoms of virus for twenty seven days. Wait, what? <clears throat> she said the Chinese government just confirmed that seven year old man that contracted it didn't start to show signs for twenty seven days, which means the incubation period is longer than they had originally said. They said it was fourteen days originally. Mm-hmm. Well, and here's the other thing with the, the whole thing with the Chinese government, too. The Chinese government originally was trying to say that the coronavirus, they had it in a lab, and somehow it got out of the lab. Come on, man. It, 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 it makes sense. <clears throat> you don't let something that's, that's that deadly just get out of the lab. There are protocols. Unless somebody... Somebody did that shit purposely. Because you don't see that happening at the CDC. Hell no, and they experiment all the time. They're always doing yeah, this. Yeah, the, 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 dude, the CDC will go into complete and total lockdown. That makes you wonder about the Chinese, man. And considering that's government control, that really makes you wonder. Because right now, it's running through China and just literally wiping out. Well, here's the thing. It's crazy because they keep lying to us about the numbers. Yeah. We know that China constantly lies, blatantly yeah. about the numbers yeah. all the time. I mean, it's crazy. The, the flu here kills 8,000 people per year. Mm-hmm. And from the numbers, we know that they're lying about. Mm-hmm. All we know is 2,000 people have died. And it could be way more than that. Well, and you know it's got to be more than that because there are, there are so many rural areas yeah. within China that that you that, that you they may not have contact with for years. So if this has gotten outside of the cities and is spreading, it's ugly. And you know, um, I saw uh, you know, uh, and <clears throat> apparently somebody has come up with a, I guess you could say a vaccine for it. But your problem is. How are you going to get it to those folk out in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. And it can easily be spread. Uh, uh, all somebody's got to do is cough on you. And that's it. That's crazy, man. And then the whole cruise ship thing, too. You heard about that. The, well, and my thing is this. The folks were quarantined. And, 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 and I agree with Trump on this. They should not have been allowed to come back to the United States. Yeah. That was a stupid move. Completely, I, I saw it. I was like, they, 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 they uh, normally in that situation, they'd be flown to an airbase somewhere or something like that, where they could be quarantined and dealt with. 
You they bring them straight back into the U.S. And I was watching a uh, a thing on it uh, the other the other day. The flight in. Hey, the folk, the all of the everybody's hazmat suited up and the whole nine yards. And I'm like, but still, that's crazy. This the coronavirus has been around before, mm-hmm. and then we've had SARS. What makes this one so different? It's how easily it can transmit from animals to humans. Mm-hmm. You, we, we've never seen that before. Mm-hmm. So that's further proof that this could be man-made, I think. This, it's been, odds are, it's been genetically modified. Genetically modified, yeah. It's been modified to cross, uh, cross from one species to another. For uh, what, though? Uh, Why would they do that? There are, that? there are people that do stuff like this every day just and sometimes it's just just to see if they can do it which is crazy because they may have actually created something that can really yeah yeah they, wipe they, out they, a yeah. huge amount of yeah the some of these some of these some of these scientists don't realize that <clears throat> by the you know they're literally opening pandora's box and at some point in time you're not going to be able to put it back in the box and once it's out it's out there is there isn't gonna you know, and sometimes you can't let it run its course. Mm-mm. You really can't. I mean, it's already had. We had a breakout in France. Mm-hmm. There's been a breakout in, I believe, Italy. Well, we've got case, we've got cases here in the United States as well. Yeah, I heard like over thirty cases. I'm yeah, like, and yeah. and the, the crazy thing is, it's all people coming from China. It's the same in France. Yeah, same. I, 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 and and my thing is this. South Korea. Uh, yeah, my, my thing is, at some point you've got to say nobody else from China's coming in. I'm sorry. Well, people until they can't be until they've been quarantined and checked. Yeah, but the incubation period is so long. I think it's over Doesn't 30 matter. days. If 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 you have to keep them for 60 days, keep them for 60. I would rather you keep them for 60 days and be safe than for you to. Because viruses can't live that long, you know. They can, but they begin to show signs. You know, certain 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 processes within the body begin to, you know, to where you can actually see yeah. what's going on. Yeah, versus you know, if you got the flu, it shows signs within like maybe six or seven, maybe eight days. Um, yeah, usually you're all right. You know, you you it's 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 run its it, by then it's usually run its course. That's but cool. with with something like 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 this, like they're saying, it may not start showing showing some symptoms for 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 twenty seven days. So <clears throat> that first thirty days, you may not show anything. But on day 32, 33, 34, 35, you start looking sick. Okay. Yeah, you start you start showing 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 symptoms. That's what I'm saying. I would rather them quarantine these folks. For sixty days, yeah, to make sure they don't have the virus and are showing some symptoms. Now, after that, hey, you let them in. You can do what they want to do. But why but, isn't China making? It seems like they're not making that much of an effort. I mean, they're quarantining cities, but that's not really going to help if you're not going in trying to treat. Chinese are are some are some are some some. Some very different people, man. They don't they don't see things the way that we do. Yeah. Um, their thinking is very is the government's thinking. I'm not talking about the people. They, their government's think has a they 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 believe in maintaining control. They try to control everything. Authoritarian. Yeah. Yes. Like you um, saw that social credit score stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it. I mean, with, just with, with Chinese government, it's 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 all about control, and that's it. So, you know, they wanna they try to control all the information. They control the food supply, the water supply. They control everything, literally. That's so, scary, man. It is. I mean, think about it. China's one of the few places they dictate to you how many children you can have. Versus here, it doesn't matter. You can pop out as many as yeah, you want. I mean, they—they're uh, uh, just 
They're a different breed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're different. And not to offend anybody, that's that's yeah. That's what they do. I, I, I you know. Okay, so I ran. Yeah. Yeah, they go going to Wait. So I hit Canada as well? Yeah. That was my cousin calling me. Mm -hmm. So I might call him back later. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a... Uh... I didn't know it hit Canada too, though. That's yeah. the thing. I didn't know it hit Canada. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hitting all over the world. Man. Okay. So this is probably why PlayStation 5 and things like that, they're being affected because most of PlayStation 5's production it's is in China. China. And with with people, I mean, businesses over there are shutting down because, you know, your 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 workers are sick. And that's one of the things that play that, you know, Sony's having having to deal with. Yeah. I think it's gonna be interesting to see after this if they do all of their production in China. They might not. I don't think they want to let Xbox get that head start on them. They might actually try to move their production. I don't think they They're going to have to do something because yeah. uh, Xbox is coming hard for them right now. Oh yeah, right? right now. Xbox is getting ready to drop the hammer on. And I think I think Xbox loves this in oh, a yeah. kind of sick, twisted way. It They're is. Like, oh yes. I've been waiting for this moment. Oh, they have. I mean, I, I, I think, I think, uh, I think Microsoft is is getting ready to, for all intents and purposes, let it all hang out. They 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 get ready to drop the bomb on. Yeah. And and here's the other thing too. If if this gets any worse, what yeah. happens if uh, if, uh, if 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 Trump says okay? Nothing else coming in from China. Right. They're screwed. They're screwed. And it's not just going to be them. What if some in some of these other countries start doing and saying the exact same thing? Yeah. You know, at that point, hey. That's wild. They're, they're shut out. Well, hopefully PlayStation survives. I mean, they did start production in other countries, but here's the deal. To ship those parts over there and then try to make up for the cost. The PS5, I mean, they're going to be in the same position they was with the PS3. Do you think they can well, get around? Well, well, not only that, but you also have the other issue, too. All those parts are going to have to be quarantined and checked. That's right. You're telling the truth because of the virus. Yeah. yeah. So, you don't know how long. Because they're going to have to be in a period where, okay. Because they can't live that long on the parts, so you know. They can't live that long on the parts, but as we have found with viruses, they, they tend to be very resilient. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, they can live on the surface for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can. Uh, you know, they could be living on the surface of, 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 of some of the chips. And let's say you're handling one of those chips and you've got a small cut. Next thing, yeah, guess what? You're the new patient zero. Oh no, that's this is wild, man. I I didn't think it would happen in my lifetime. Something like this, just a new virus is popping up out of nowhere. But it was inevitable, you know. Well, if you look 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 throughout throughout history, um, the Black Plague throughout the Middle Ages. Yeah, but the flu. Through the early, late 1800s, early 1900s, uh, you know, we're at a point where we know something's. I mean, even the even the CDC has said they knew something was coming. Uh, our our thing that we've got to be wary of is all the things coming out of China because you got to remember that's where the bird flu came from. SARS. SARS. Uh, a lot of this stuff is coming out of China. Yeah. So you, you know, think it's the, wet the world as a whole? I think is going to have to be vigilant, and we're going to have to to kind of watch 
watch what's going on. We need to, I mean, we got really need to start paying attention right. to what's going on in China. Yeah. Because if, if, if things like this are coming out of it. Yeah. And a lot of people see scary. it as like a racist thing, but it's not. It's a lot of dangerous viruses have came out of China. And I don't think for the general population, like in the cities and stuff, there's no huge problem with sanitation and health. It's no, when it's you out. get to these wet markets where it gets serious because, mm-hmm. man, they be sent the kind of meat. But not washing their hands for days. Uh, you know, sanitation is always key. It is. It is. It's one of the things that is that is that is allowed and helped us to evolve. Yeah. Um, if we continue, if 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 these things continue to happen, eventually there will be a global pandemic. Um, I hope that. We, for China's sake, I hope that it doesn't come from come out of there, right? Um, because I think you know when it gets to a point and you've got millions of people dying, some of these governments are gonna take that extremely personally, and 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 that would not be that could start China. A war. Uh, that's my biggest fear. My biggest fear is that's gonna be what starts World War Three, right? And it's and, showing irresponsibility in a way, kind yeah. of, you know. Yeah. So I got I got and and, and and another thing about China too is there are parts of China that are that are ex- exceptionally rural. Rural. Um, there are. I've met some. I've, I've met some researchers. Uh, from from the from in the, in the town that I work with, yeah. who have gone to China to help them uh, uh, do work with uh, fruit trees and, and things of that nature. And some of the villages that they've told me they've gone to, exceptionally rural. I mean, we're talking, dude, like it's almost like going back to the Dark Ages rule. There's no electricity. There's no running water. Uh, you know, they. You know, it's like it's it's it, Is it kind of like it's, the Amish kind of. They're like caught between the old West and and the Middle Ages. That's crazy. Nah, yeah. I couldn't live in that. You know me. I couldn't. But you know <laughs> that. But 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 that's all those people know. Yeah. That's that's all they've known. These folk. Some of these. You know, my one guy was telling me. He said some of the folks that they've dealt with hadn't seen another. Human being out, out outside of their, you know, family or you know the, the the next closest family for you know 20, 30 years. That's that's nuts. Man. But they live out in the middle of nowhere, dude. In the middle I'm of nowhere. Talking, I'm talking, dude. People don't realize how big China is. Everybody thinks that China's kind of like the like like the United States. They don't realize there are some really rural places in China. There 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 are there are there are whole families that may not have seen anyone outside of yeah. that immediate group for a couple of generations. That's crazy. Yeah, it makes sense because it's so huge. It really mm-hmm. is huge. Like most people think of uh, Shenzhen or Beijing when they think yeah, of China. Yeah, but they don't realize even. once you get outside of the cities. There's, you know, there's no running water. Yeah. There's, you know, there's, there's no lights. You know, these folk are are literally living like, like people did back in, you know, the old West and, and, and some of them back in, back in the dark ages. Yeah. So they control their image in a way. Yeah. From us, our image is China. Like it's yeah. ultra modern, but right. there's 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 a huge huge part of that that is not ultra modern. You like know, a these huge folk land, are just, man. yeah. That's crazy. And I I want to show you these wet markets. I'm sure you've seen them before. Mm-hmm. So let me type in a wet market just to show you some stuff. Now the whole I don't think the, the virus came from bats. Everyone thinks it came from bat soup. I, I don't know. 
they say the bats pooped on pigs and that. I was like, that's from the movie Contagion. Don't steal that. <laughs> but, you know, uh, yeah, this guy about a month ago, he was on New Year's Eve, Chinese New Year's Eve, I think. Or maybe it was New Year's, actual New Year's, I'm not sure. I watched some of it, but man, he was walking through the market. I was like, oh man, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. And he said, this is how you can get viruses. You know, you can get viruses this way because this whole area facilitates that. You can just cut up all these types of meat. People are always passing through. You, you have tons of people bunched up together, mm -hmm. walking through these markets, buying random cut up animals, wild animals that are unchecked and unregulated. You don't know, but you know, but 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 the the thing with that too is, <clears throat> you can there are markets like that all over the world. That's true. That, that is true. He talked um, about that. Too. So the, the 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 question becomes, what is different there, as opposed to in other places? That's what we were trying to figure that out too. I was just looking into it. I'm like. Okay, that's, Malaysia that's, does that. That's that. That's what we got to figure out because you know the Chinese have been they have they have, they have lived that way for centuries. Right. And you have we have to remember too that at one point in time it was the same way here. Right. We did the same thing. We did the exact same same thing that they did. We butchered stuff right then and there. People bought the cuts. Um, a lot of that does come down to sanitation. There, there, there's, there's different practices. There's, some, they're gonna, there's some things that they're gonna need to upgrade as far as is how the people handle and dispose of and and you know sanitation over there is is gonna have to it's gonna have to change. Do you think it's the sanitation? Because like it's, like you said, all over the world they have these markets. You can walk around by crickets. <laughs> yeah, I think I, th I think they, I honestly think it's I think think that's that's one of the one of the big things that's gonna have to change. It's gonna be the sanitation. How how things are disposed of. Uh, yeah. You know whether whether we like to to admit it or not, blood is a great carrier. It it it. You know, we're, you know, they're they're gonna have to have running water at, at these things so that they can flush this stuff out. They're gonna have to come up with some, you know, put in some sewer systems to help flush this stuff away, and it's gonna have to go somewhere and be cleaned, and then you know, and then yeah, put out. Because um, it's not know, the it's you, not the meat you, cutting that's bad, yeah. like you're saying. It it's just literally the sanitation, most mm -hmm. likely. Yeah, that's. I think I think that will make a, a a huge difference. Yeah, but do the other? My question is: Does these other markets in other countries do the? Do you think they have better sanitation, or because I can't tell? I I watch the other ones. I can't tell. Um, um I, but these are. I haven't I haven't been to them. I have watched different 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 things on on. On TV and different videos, and you know, you might see everyone from Anthony Bourdain to whoever go to these markets. Yeah. And you know, if you notice too, there's some stalls they don't stop at. You 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 have to you have to to to, to watch, and and this is anyone going outside of the United States, you know, try anything you know like uh, uh, Andrew Zimmer says. Try you, you can try anything, but be selective. You know, if 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 something don't smell right, it could possibly be infected mm -hmm. or messed yeah, up. Yeah, I mean, you just you 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 know, go with your gut. If your gut tells you, eh, I think I'm gonna pass on it, then pass on. It. Yeah. Oh wow, this is actually recording and not messing up for the first time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I finally figured it out. Yeah. All right. So let's start the next part of it.